well, Camelot is the story of King Arthur, and basically, King Arthur marries Guinevere, men, and they're both like 18, so it's super relatable, and then all of a sudden, it's five years later, basically, this just not nice guy Lancelot comes in, and he just sweeps Guinevere off her feet. Men. She does want to at first, but she does give in because I mean it's Lancelot. He's super good looking. It's true. What can you say about it? And then basically everyone goes to war over Guinevere, which is her secret desire. But men and food. Not really. She doesn't really want to say it out loud, but it really is. And then in the end, some people die, some people don't, but they end on a good note, so it's a happy ending. So men, men, more men. And then she leaves men and goes to the nunnery. <laughs> Come along. Come on. I know it sounds a bit bizarre. But Come along. Come on. That's how conditions are. Come on. There's a show about this guy. And this guy lives in Camelot, which is like this place. Yes. In the world, a long time ago. It's, it's a magical, magical place. Yes. You know? There's like this guy named, named Merlin. Yes, he mentors him, he changes him into a hawk and stuff. But who's the guy that he turns into a hawk? Arthur's guy. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Arthur is this guy who, he like turns into king, like they're taking a sword out of a stone. I don't know how the heck they came up with that stuff. Um, I'd rather talk about something else. <laughs> that the rock of our foundation is Nat Kier. I, I really think that if it were not for Nat Kier, we would not have this show. Because, I mean, he's Merlin, and nothing would happen without Merlin. I mean, he's just, he, he's Merlin. Oh, it's one, please. Remember to think. Okay, and I mean, as Nat Kier plays him, I mean, what does he have? Like, like eight lines? With those eight lines. <laughs> 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 <laughs>